Effective adaptation strategies are required in response to the impact of climate change in mountain regions. With a view to better integrating scientific evidence and mountain people's experience into international discussions, experts from Azerbaijan, Iran, Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia and Tajikistan met in Dushanbe, Tajikistan from 9 to 11th of November 2011. Organized by the Mountain Partnership Secretariat and the University of Central Asia, in collaboration with the government of Tajikistan, the meeting was held within the framework of the World Bank's Development Grant Facility on Climate Change Impacts, Adaptation and Development in Mountain Regions. During the plenary sessions and in working groups, the meeting participants stressed the importance of working in partnership, as addressing global climate change in Central Asia should be not be limited by national boundaries. Even though all the countries in the region have their own interests, climate change challenges are common to all of them. Central Asia is a veritable climate change hotspot. Our countries are passive smokers, affected by carbon emissions from neighboring countries. Visiting project sites after the meeting showed participants that climate adaptation measures are locally specific. In the mountain village of Hakimi, nestled in the Rasht Valley south of Dushanbe, a mountain hospital serving a community of 13,000 became a renewable energy pilot center after donors funded the installation of solar collectors. The project was implemented by a Tajik NGO, Camp Kuhiston, an active mountain partnership member. The energy this produces is used in rooms where women give birth, are kept warm and well insulated from the harsh temperatures common at such high altitudes. Uh, presently, as you have seen, there are two women expecting delivery of babies. One of them have already, has already delivered uh, a baby girl. Another one is waiting, expecting uh, for the delivery. And uh, I am very thankful to the Camp Kuhistan for the uh, assistance and support they provided. The technology used by the Camp Kuhistan is mainly the solar cell technology and also cell solar water heating uh, technology, uh, which is uh, used for two rooms, uh, for which we are very thankful to them. Overexploitation of forest resources in mountains results in soil erosion and reduced water storage capacity and also contributes to deadly mudslides, avalanches and other disasters. Habibullo Karimo lives in the village of Shaktutibolo in the same Nurobad district. Most of the time he and his family are busy with collecting brushwood and dung for fuel source from mountain slopes around the village. But he claims that from year to year it's more and more harder for them to get enough wood for winter season. In the past 20 years, mountain slopes have become bare, devoid of walnut forest, while the frequency of mudslides increased. As a solution to fuel depletion, energy-efficient stoves and cookers are introduced for the villages, and also fruit trees have been planted to stabilize hill slopes. These activities are also carried out by Camp Kuhistan NGO. These few examples from the field show the importance of developing and enforcing adaptation mechanisms to ensure better protection for effective ecosystems of Central Asia and their populations.